Hello, welcome, Smart Home Sunday. Having a look at Philips Hue. So the goal is to get Home Assistant to work really well with Philips Hue. If you're new here, that's what I'm trying to do on Sundays. Tinkering with Home Assistant, trying to get it connected really nicely with Philips Hue. Then, once I've got that sorted, I'll start hooking all sorts of other devices into Home Assistant. So that's my Smart Home Sunday trying to use Home Assistant to make the home smart. There's the summary. Right, if you saw last week, Smart Home, Home Assistant Lighting Automation with Philips Hue. Yes, that's right. I have again the light in the background and I'm going to show you what I figured out with the API. Now, in the last video, last week, I realized that Home Assistant is going to work very well and very quickly with Philips Hue to listen for on state. So when lights turn on, I could quickly check the time, I can check what scene I want it to be set to, and it'll just set it there really, really, really quickly. It's very good. Can I have a look at last week's video if you haven't seen it? Now, one thing, one challenge that I presented in that video was transition time. So when you turn the light on, of course, that can happen instantly, and I actually want it to work that way. I want it to be instant. So if you want it to turn the light on in the evening, you just want instantly that scene to be set, which is a bit dimmer and a bit warmer. I want that to be seamless. But if you have the lights on and say it's coming up to 6 p.m. and you want to change from a brighter daytime scene to a more subdued evening scene, I don't want that transition to happen like that. Instead, I want it to transition perhaps 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Okay, maybe five minutes is enough, but I figured out how to do it. Okay, I'm gonna show you today how to put the command to Philips Hue using the API to make that transition happen. And then next time I'll get it working from Home Assistant. So let's have a look. Now, here I have this little debugger tool. And if you've got a Philips Hue hub, you can start tinkering with the API. And then this one's not too hard. I've done a video previously on how you can create yourself a username. And uh, you bring this tool up and then you can start playing around. So this is a little test username I have here, big long string of text slash API slash the username slash scenes. I go and get those and I have a big long list. Now if I scroll down the end where I am, you can see here there is a funny name or a string of characters that is the technical ID for a scene I have called Office Dimmed. Right, now if we switch that light over to Office Dimmed, let's do it. Over here on the right side of the screen, I take the code, copy, I'm going to paste it in here. So what I'm actually doing up here in the URL, I've got slash API slash the username, then I'm controlling a group. The group I'm controlling is group 15. How do I know it's group 15? Well, look over here on the other side. You can see group 15. Lights 21 and 23 are in group 15. So. I'm going to send an action to group 15. Are you with me? Am I jumping around too much? I'm not gonna show much more than this. I'll do this a couple of times. You can practice yourself. And it is actually quite easy to do. Here it is, here's the magic. Scene, pick the scene I want. Transition time. Now, the counting here's a bit weird, okay? This is actually, uh, well, one would be 100 milliseconds. So 10 is 10 times 100 milliseconds, which is then 1,000 milliseconds. Am I doing the maths right? Yes. <laughs> and that's one second. So now I'm going to put that command in place. There we go. Now I'm in the dark. Uh, let's change it to something bright. Office concentrate. There's the ID, long string paste that in. Again, same lights, same group 15. Let's put that in place. As you can see, it's working. Now, this is me switching scenes with this group just via the API. So I'm just in a web browser. 
and there's this little uh, tool that they have actually hosted on the hub so I'm pointing to this IP address here is my Philips Hue hub on the local network and then if you've got a hub you'll find this URL as well just find the IP slash debug slash clip dot HTML and you'll have this tool so as I say you have to create a username for yourself I did a video on that earlier on but then once you've got that in place then you can tinker like I am I feel powerful wow let's go to office bright again same thing let's make the transition time a little bit longer so now it's going to take 10 seconds go <laughs> is it working it's kind of such a slow transition you don't notice it instantly happen yeah that's office bright Okay, let's change back to Energize. That's quite a blue light. You'll definitely notice this one in 10 seconds. So again, put that in place. And now you can see it's transitioning from the previous scene to the new scene over a time period of 10 seconds. If I want to extend this a little bit more, well, I could, for example, take it over to relax. And there's my scene. And then my timing could be 6,000. It's about 10 minutes, if I've done my maths right. Don't check. Put your calculator away. It's a long time. I'm going to put that in place. This video doesn't go long enough to see the whole transition happen. But this is exciting because now I figured out how to do it. All I need to do is in Home Assistant, start doing these API calls to the Philips Hue hub and I can do exactly what I want. So subscribe, then you'll know next week when the video's up with Smart Home Sunday and I'm gonna have Home Assistant using these API commands to talk to the Philips Hue. And then I'll have time-based triggers and then I'll have on triggers and oh, there's going to be a whole bunch of automations there. Who knows? Maybe I'll overload Home Assistant with too many automations. Come back next week and we'll see. Hey, of course, I'll be here tomorrow. If you subscribe, you'll know that I'm here every day. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, and good luck tinkering.